Good morning. All right, this morning we are at another garden I have. You may recognize it. That, yes, indeed, that is a raised bed. I have several of these on the property, but this one is cool. I'll let you guess what's in here. But you probably already read the description, so you know what's in here anyway. But they're tall. They're in, whoa, look at that. They're in September. They have these big, beautiful yellow flowers. They look pretty cool. See that? Nice yellow flowers. And right now where I'm at, this is early October, so yeah. Some of the flowers have fallen off, but we still have a few yellows left. I want to show them to you. And what's nice, these are one of my absolutely all-time favorite perennials. That's why they're in here in the raised bed, which we'll discuss it in a second. But I pulled this one up, just a random one, and look at that. These are Jerusalem artichokes. You can tell them because they're naughty, right? It looks sort of like, I'm not sure what they look like. <laughs> they're not potato. They're like a root thing, but they're pretty good. Don't eat these raw unless you want to have some discomfort. All right, we keep this channel clean, but you can look them up. If you want to eat these, roast them, boil them, crock pot them, whatever. They're really good. My favorite way is to slice them and to boil them in the oven for a little bit, and they come out really nice. But one thing about juice some artichokes, they're very nice because they come out year after year. I never water these, <laughs> they just come up and I eat them. But they're in a raised bed because even though they are native to North America, where we live, they expand out. See this? Even though they're in a raised bed, a few are sneaking out, so you got to watch them. That's why I keep Medusum artichokes in the raised bed. They're not in the garden because they will take it over. So if you get some Medusum artichokes, put them in a raised bed. Just be smart and keep them in. But if you have Medusum artichokes, you will never go hungry. Even if you think you dig up every single one out of your raised bed, you eat them all up, they will come back next year, guaranteed. And what's nice about them is that you don't dig them up and put them in a refrigerator or crates or something like that, like you do sweet potatoes or regular potatoes. You leave them in the ground. When you're ready for them, you dig them up. You just pull them up in here. That's all I did. Pull it up and pull them out, and they're ready to go. Yeah, leave them in the ground because you can pull them out, but surprisingly, after a couple of weeks, they will begin to rot when they're out. But there are other ways to preserve them, but that's not for this video. We are here to talk about food security and growing veggies. So, so get yourself some juice and artichokes. They are wonderful. They're not for everybody. I understand that, but you know, nutty flavor. It's good. You know, put them in different dishes. One thing I'll ask you for is if you like my videos, give it a thumbs up, right? Subscribe, and leave a nice comment. Bad comments, you know what they are. I don't do it, but YouTube, <laughs> they get rid of them before I even get a chance to see them. So, all right. Do some artichokes. They are awesome. Grow them. Food security, that's where it's at. All right, have a great day. Good luck. God bless you.